Welcome back. Hope you are staying happy and healthy. I'm your girl Claudia. Enough love and blessings as always. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm talking about accepting people for who they are and not for what we want them to be or for what we expect them to be. In this thing called life, we're gonna come upon a lot of obstacles as we go along life journey. Let it be known, known two person journey is going to be the same we have to just accept people for who they are and for where they have been help them to feel confident in their own abilities yeah it is not for us to judge you never know what a next person has been through is going through or will go through humble yourself um at whatever stage you are now in life life keep changes the cycle of life keep changing on the regular you might be up today tomorrow you're down the same person that you pass going up it's the same person you're gonna pass going down so extend a hand of kindness when you can show some empathy and just keep it moving life is a cycle life has a, all different turns to take it will take you on some journey that you never expect to be on right but you just have to get your mental ready enjoy the ride whatever it throws at you the good the bad and the indifference you embrace it and learn from it um because in everything there is a lesson to be learned so you pick the lesson from your experience and you keep it moving People go through a lot of different um, tragedies, different obstacles, different phases in their life, you know, and sometimes it's all about your mental, some people mental state is not as strong as others, what I might be able to sweep under the rug, another person might find it hard, very challenging to deal with. So we are, we are all different humans with different um, coping skills, different um, ways of dealing with situation when it comes. So we just have to be sympathetic to others. You never know what a person is going through. Never know where they have been. You never know their upbringings, um, traumas that they have been through in their life. You see a person going on out there smiling and you just don't know what they have been through, what they are experiencing. That's why it is good to be a people person. Extend a hand of kindness, a word of encouragement. People are struggling, people are suffering, people are sad. Not only financially suffrage people are going through, people are suffering emotionally, mentally. You know, sometimes people just need somebody to talk to, somebody to, to be there just to listen. Have you ever been going about your business and a perfect stranger just walk up to you and just start pour out their heart to you, just wanting somebody to listen to their situation? Sometimes people just need a hug. You would never believe some of the things that people are going through. You might be thinking that you have life the roughest and the toughest and when you hear another person's story oh my god you, what you think you're going through is nothing comparing to what that person is experiencing right so as human beings our main purpose on this earth is to be our brother's keepers be your sister's keepers we don't have to be related by blood to look out for each other. We're all humans, right? So it, it, is, it, is, it should be something inside of us that just give us that um, concern where if you see your brother struggling or your sister struggling, you want to help. You also have to be careful how you go about helping other people. Some people are ungrateful some people um they just cannot be trusted but whatever experience you have been through in life do not let the negative change you or break you and turn you into a monster turn you into that person who 
go about their business not caring for other people love um overrides everything so in all in all things show kindness keep pouring goodness into yourself and into others our main purpose on earth is to leave a legacy of goodness where your name will be remembered by the good things that you have done and the lives that you have touched in a positive way right it doesn't matter how much money you have how much house and car how much um assets if you are not um touching lives if you are not changing life in a positive way it makes no sense material things comes and goes don't hold too tight to nothing be content with what you have while striving for better the most i he keeps opening doors he will never leave you nor forsake you give thanks unto the lord because he is good his merciful kindness will forever endure Thank you.